Okay guys, what's going on? Today, is, today we're going to be actually doing a tutorial guide of how to set up your Vivo dual monitor arm. So, one of these bad- oh, dear god. Uh, one of these badass behemoths over here. I ended up picking this up off Amazon.ca through my own affiliate link. Click the link below. Uh, for about 50 bucks actually. Not too bad. Super heavy duty construction. Heavy enough I was worried that that rod that just rolled was going to break a bunch of my glasses. Uh, so in the box, we already did the unboxing, uh, if it's on the channel, great, if not, inside the box you get your components. Yay! Okay, uh, just quick setup guide. So how you do it, it's actually fairly straightforward. Uh, within the box you're going to get your arm, your rod, your clamp, and then you'll get a box that looks like this, and inside will contain a clip, a mount if you want to if you have a hole in your desk and you just want to sink it in you use this your hardware and another set of cable management kits plus the instructions so now that we got that out of the way in a mini unboxing let's go through and show you how to actually hook it all up Avermedia Media GC 550 capture card gives you 1080p, 60 FPS, uncompressed recordings, and a USB 3.0 external device. Compatible with all consoles, you'll never have a problem getting the live stream you want. Click now to learn more. So the dual mar the dual arm, uh, the way it goes is these two open sides go up. So it actually acts as like a cradle for the monitor, and then you actually back mount it into the into the holes directly through the vaso holes. So we're gonna start with the 24 inch uh, Samsung monitor here. And in the bag of hardware, if you read the instructions, there's actually two sizes of screws. There's MA and MB. MA is the smaller screw or the thinner screw and MB is the obviously thicker screw. So the instructions are saying for monitors, use the MA uh, style screw. So we're going to just put two screws in Anchor it into the vase mount, and then we can back mount the other two screws. So we're going to start by back mounting these. So put a washer on top of your MA screw. And on the top side, just put it in, but don't put it in all the way. Just leave a little bit out so you can actually nestle it into the uh, the top two holes. And just repeat the other side. Oh my god. Uh, we hit a small snag. Actually, this the vase size for this monitor it was not compatible with the drop-in. But it does hold up to the, I don't know if this is what 100 by 100 or 50 by 50, whatever it is. But it just goes into the second set of screws here. So repurposing the old screw mounts, uh, we can now fit the monitor into the into the base mount. Now that you can see we've got both monitors hooked up, stay. Uh, we now have to hook up the base. So you got your C-clamp, you got your rod. Uh, inside the bag with this big ass clip in it, you're going to see the screw. It's pretty hefty but this is what you need to anchor it in so just put it on get it all lined up and just screw it right in okay now that we got both monitors mounted and sitting on my incredibly expensive chair uh, we did have to go through some extra work to get it to kind of uh, fit but we're now ready to mount this thing that is really really tilty but don't worry you can tighten that up with the allen key although I'm not gonna lie if you're like me you are probably having a heart attack right now I am terrified. Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. Okay, so you're gonna want to take your your mount. Now at the back, you're gonna see there's a screw here at the back. You have to loosen that up and tighten it in order to secure it at the height that you want on the post. Okay, ready? And lifting it up, we put it on top of the post. Always, always, always maintain your grip. Never not maintain your grip, because you will regret it very, very quickly. Okay. Once you have the height you want, take the Allen key, it's the smaller one, and tighten up that back screw. Okay, there you go. Okay, once you get that done, you should be good. Holy hell, that's tall. And scary. Once you get the monitors in the position you want, just go around the entire unit here, and just tighten up all of your separate screws uh, for the monitor so you can get like the tilt and the adjustment and the angles that you want. Stay. Stay. Okay. So there you guys have it. 
while it was a lot of work, a lot more than I want to admit to, that is how you set up the Vivo monitor mount. It's actually relatively simple. If you think about it, eight screws, nine screws if you count the, uh, 10 screws if you count the actual monitor assembly, and mounting it. The hardest part is gonna get it to the height you want, but get a friend to help you and you should be fine. And best part is too, the little clip on the back actually serves as a tool holder, so you'll never lose your Allen keys. Guys, I've been Rex. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Any questions, like always, leave them in the comments below. If I don't get to them, trust me, it's not that I didn't see them. It's, I'm just really busy. But I will try to answer your questions as and when I can. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.